For the latest on the Lesotho elections, let's now cross live to Maseru, where our SABC News contributing editor Vuyo Mvoko is standing by. Vuyo, a very good morning. And can you tell us what is the mood like in the country ahead of the uh, elections this weekend? Well, thanks very much, Elvis. Well, uh, the Basutu are looking forward to Saturday's election. Yes, of course, there are concerns, there are issues. Um, and as you heard in that piece, uh, Mr. Ryla, uh, pre former President Raila Odinga, who is the head of the AU mission, saying that there are issues uh, that uh, there, uh, some people are apprehensive about. But that said, it must be emphasized that none of the concerns from parties, uh, concerns from the observer missions, concerns from everyone who has a stake in this election. None of them believe that whatever issues there may still be out there, no one believes that those issues cannot be resolved. None of them um, believe that uh, they are so big that they can, uh, in fact, uh, put a spanner in the works, so to speak. So um, notwithstanding the concerns, notwithstanding whatever uh, outstanding issues that, the part that parties may have, um, this election will indeed go ahead. And most people here believe it will go ahead without glitches. I did speak last night uh, to uh, former Botswana President Festus Mukhai, who heads the Commonwealth Observer Mission. He did meet with several parties. Uh, he also met with uh, NGOs. He had met also with uh, the parties that are involved contesting um, this election. He too was saying the same thing, that in spite of uh, the levels of apprehension that he still has, he thinks that this election will go without glitches. And is giving particular credit to the South African, uh, Southern African development community for really making sure that they are hands on, they are following the processes uh, throughout. And uh, as things stand, he believes that uh, none of the issues that were raised, even as late as yesterday, will in fact uh, uh, make this election a shambles. In fact, let's uh, speak now to one of the parties that are involved in, in this election, the Progressive Democrats. Democrats. Their leader is Mr. Mupato Munyaga. Mr. Munyaga, thanks very much for joining us. You. Your sense um, from you heard what I've just said. You heard uh, uh, what uh, President, former President Odinga had to say. What former President uh, Mukhai had to say. You heard what I just said mm -hmm. about the parties I've already spoken to. Do you have particular concerns that you think uh, may hold this election back? Uh, I really don't have uh, that many concerns whatsoever because as it stands, I have already voted. So the elections have already started. And I believe that uh, the majority of our people are anxious to get on with the elections. Uh, the concerns that uh, uh, we are having is that uh, the police in Lesotho at the moment are, are a concern. And they are the ones who will be guarding our ballot papers from the polling stations to the retaining officers where the results are going to be announced. And uh, because of that, I think that is where we really need support from the observer missions to ensure that the, the ballots get to the retaining office without any problems. Other than that, I think that uh, we should uh, really applaud the IEC for the wonderful job that they have done uh, with the limited resources that they have. Well, you heard it from Mr. Munyaga from the Progressive uh, Democrats saying, again, in spite of the issues, one or two issues he still has, uh, one of them being um, the role that the police are going to play, he does believe that everything else is as was planned. And just to uh, conclude, um, Elvis, uh, you will recall, if, in fact, if, just to take uh, you a step uh, or two back, Last week at the Troika meeting in Pretoria, where the ruling coalition uh, government was also present, SADC did put it on record that they had spoken to the Independent Electoral Commission. Not only that, they received a report and they did interrogate that report and they have satisfied themselves that uh, the Independent Electoral Commission will indeed be able uh, to do its job without 
without hindrance and without fear and without any favor. But also the issue of the security forces, the roles or the respective roles of both the army and the police was also looked into. SADC, as you will remember, has deployed people uh, from the various security uh, forces of uh, the member countries to come here. So they too are going to play an integral role in the areas of intelligence, the police, as well as the defense to ensure that there are no leakages, so to speak, to ensure that re indeed the credibility of this election is uh, preserved. Back to you, Elvis. Thank you, Vuyo. Now we'll keep you updated uh, on that uh, uh, story that's unfolding in Lesotho. As you know, elections will be coming up. That's uh, SABC's News contributing editor Vuyo Mvoko coming to us live from Aseru in Lesotho.